It's been hours. Children, obey your parents in everything. This pleases the Lord. It's in the Bible, and there are no exceptions when it comes to the Lord's word. Do I make myself clear? Here she comes. The fight seemed pretty bad. Just like what they used to make me do whenever I screwed up. Kneeling on salt, head bowed, arms locked in prayer, all hours felt like days. I don't like this one. This doesn't feel right. It never felt right. No, no, Holly, it's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. You remember, right? You were able to fix this. You were able to help. That's how I went, remember? You helped patch her up. Hey, it's okay. Let me take a look at that. Oh. Okay, don't worry. I I've got something for that. There you go. My first aid kit. I've always had this. Okay, let's start by cleaning it up. Ouch! Yeah, I know it hurts, but once I'm done, it'll hurt a lot less. Promise. <laughs> Are you sure? What if, what, if, what if it never comes off? What if it's stuck there forever? Shh, shh, shh. Don't worry. I know it looks bad, but it all goes away after a while. Mom would also have me kneel when I was younger. And look, my knees are fine. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. It feels... It feels so much better now. <laughs> See? Whenever things get too hard, I'll make it all better. I'll fix things. I'll fix everything. <laughs> Okay, I'm used to it. I'm used to all the silly little things you tell yourself so you can sleep soundly at night. <laughs> She's coming, Holly. She's coming very soon. Oh, God. And then we can tell ourselves all the things we want to hear. Oof, this is so creepy. <laughs> What's happening? Who's coming? This again. It's even worse now. It's fine. It's fine. This is all fine. No. I need to stay awake. I know I shouldn't. But it's just so hard. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. Thumbnail. No. No, 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 no. I can't move. It's just a dream. Just a dream. Just a dream. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners. Now, in the hour of our death. Amen. In the hour of our death. In the 
power of our death. Who is that? What the heck was that? It just keeps getting worse. Bad dream? Yeah. yeah. Happen often. I hear you sometimes at night calling out to someone. Hey. How do you do it? Do what? Sleep so soundly at night. <sighs> I wouldn't say I sleep soundly. Dad used to tell me that and I snore sometimes, but he also told me that if ever my dreams got too scary, all I needed to do was take a deep breath and think of something happy. That's the thing about dreams, right? It's all in your head, just jumbled up thoughts and memories. So if we think hard enough, we can sort of rewrite it, make it so that the nightmares slip into something pleasant. I see. You make it sound so easy. Well, it really isn't, but... How do I say it? Oh, I know. It's just like the partisan charm. Kylie Taylor's signature spell. Hmm? Yeah, that's it. Like how she channeled all those memories she had of her friends into her spell key. And scared off all the Bright Creepers. Yeah, this is definitely not a Harry Potter knockoff. Yeah. I see. I... I sort of get it. It's kind of like casting magic then, isn't it? <laughs> the turn of a spell key, a heartfelt secret, and a little push. That's all it takes to get to Witchwood. <laughs> of course you put it like that. <sighs> I guess so. Though it's a bit simpler than that. No flashing lights or magical incantations. Just find a reason to keep going. And here I am comparing things to Kylie Taylor. <laughs> I better watch out. I spent more time around you. I might just end up starting a fan club. You're welcome. And look who's getting a sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, got another wonderful day ahead of us. Dibs on the shower, by the way. Sure. Oh, that's one problem down, sorta. But there's still this. Best keep it with me for now. As we approach the end of this wonderful recollection, I'd like to take this moment to bring up our work from our very first day. There she is again, our once perfect girl, face stained with imperfections. Why, how can she possibly ever be happy again? But that's okay. Such stains are but symptoms. And when we are sick, we do not trouble ourselves with mere symptoms. We go to the root of the matter, slice the tumour at its source. Sin. In hospitals, they give out doctor's prescriptions, rooms to rest in, and in some severe cases, surgeries. But while most are focused on healing the body, here we heal the spirit. Healing the sick, huh? Is that really all there was to it? Damn, I don't even know what to make of this. Holly? <laughs> uh, yes, Sister Adira? So, after all the enlightening lectures and prayer sessions and... and work that we've done, how do we move forward? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Well, you see... What to say, what to say? I'll start speaking the truth. I promise to start speaking the truth. 
Excuse me? What does that have to do with what you've written down? Um, no, well, you see, like what you told me the other day, bless my mouth so that I may speak the truth. Yes. It's, it's been hard, but I feel like I'm slowly learning to do just that. Holly, I sense that you are distracted. The devil speaks his whispers into the ears of the young. Sorting out the words of God from the words of the devil is crucial to your spiritual formation. And, with that in mind, have the two of you seen anything again? Um, no, nothing out of the ordinary. Are you absolutely sure? No voice? Apparitions of any sort? <laughs> there must be something! Okay. Hey! Sister Atira, sorry, but nothing so far. But we'll keep our eyes open, okay? <sighs> silence. It's always silence. When Mother Idelora gave this lecture, the girls would break down in tears. The spiritual epiphanies they would experience. Each one of them would speak God's name to high heavens. Some even spoke in tongues. And here you two are. I need more from you. Do you understand? Look, I'm sorry if this is all different from what you want it to be. I guess I'm just not like them. The girls who came here before. But I can't change that. Neither can you. You're wrong. We can. We always could. This convent has changed more souls than you could ever dream of. And no matter how much the modern world continues to taint the youth, we shall persevere. There shall be more of us, and whatever happens long after you've passed, this convent shall still remain. <sighs> For the rest of the day, the both of you shall continue cleaning this convent. Now that we've finished with the archives, I want you to move on to the common area. And we can skip lunch. It's time for the both of you to recognize the value of hard work. What's wrong with her? God. Best get to it. You gotta admit, that was a whole nother level of weird. This... obsession she's got with whatever's been happening here. It's... it's just... I don't know. It's almost like she's waiting for something. Hey, Gabby. Can I ask you to help me with something? Hmm? That room we were cleaning yesterday. I need to look through it just one more time. What, right now? Well, Adira's busy. If we just do it really fast, in and out. Again? I just need you to be on lookout. Make sure Adira doesn't catch me. Didn't you hear what I just said? This... This isn't healthy, Holly. I know that, but... But please, just one more time, okay? <sighs> one more time. Just one more time. Then that's it, okay? Then we buckle down, make our way through the rest of this recollection, and leave. Our sure. <sighs> oh, boy. I'm really looking forward to all this being over. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what else we can find here. This is a lot. Let's get started then. Hmm. It has come to my attention that some of the younger girls were, we are hosting are being very difficult. This is not their fault, but rather a symptom. No doubt their families have failed to raise them accordingly, according to the holy virtues that all Christians should live by. 
Nonetheless, it is our holy duty to see it that their head. Nonetheless, it is our holy duty to see that. Nonetheless, it is our holy duty to see it that their bad habits are corrected as such for their for this. Nonetheless, it is our holy duty to see to it that their bad habits are corrected. As such, for this batch, we are changing our curriculum to incorporate basic values of this discipline and spirituality. See the attached lesson plan for more detailed information. Okay. Lessons in proper poise and, pro and posture. As sisters of the Idelorian order, we wish to instill the feminine values of grace in our attendees. As instructed, the girls are to stand up straight, arms raised to their sides while balancing books. Ten minutes intervals with short five minute breaks. Continue this activity for two hours more so if you see fit. In the event that they fail a simple prick of a sewing needle to the nail is a recommended punishment. Works wonders. Time will heal the little wound, but the brief moment of pain will make it so that the heart remembers. I'm sure Gladiator isn't making us do that. Hmm? Found anything? This. This over here. Let me see. <sighs> Remember that journal we found? I was reading it last night and I... I don't... I think the nuns here were very nice to the girls. Really now? No surprising. Did you really think this was some picture-perfect place where they sang songs and held hands and shit? Adira seemed to think so. Here's another one. <laughs> March 23rd, 1956. Number 16 was acting up again today made a fuss about the food we were serving. She even had the gall to vomit all over the dining table. Every grain of rice wasted is another day of penance spent in purgatory. As such, I made sure that nothing went to waste, down to the very last drop of her sickly wretch. If this continues, and she turns out to be a lost cause, I fear that we may have to confine her to the room of hosts for reformation. What? What the hell? That's seriously screwed up. What do they mean by reformation? I'm not sure. I can look at this over here. Hmm. Looks like this place used to be some sort of classroom. Wonder what happened. Well, guess it's like what Adira said. Attendance must have dropped. Yeah, a light has been lit inside me. I'm confident I can now face the sinful world without fear of temptation. Thank you so much, sisters. Here's another one. So glad to take part in this life-changing recollection. I feel like new life has been breathed into me. We are now all proper women of God. A cut above the rest. Well, it sounds like they enjoyed themselves. Maybe a little too much. And look at this one over here. On behalf of the proud batch of 1957, I'd like to thank Saint Elora for being such a great teacher. And back then they called her a saint. Isn't that a bit weird? Well, she's never been officially canonized, as far as I know. I suppose it's more like a term of endearment? I see. Imagine going through all that. Still come out praising this place to high heavens. The hell was wrong with them? Guess it really was a different time. They had no choice. I mean, what were they going to do? Go back home and tell their parents about it? And even if their parents did believe them, well, it's not like their parents are any better. When that's the only life you've known, those kind of things seem normal. Well, it's not normal. You know that, right, Holly? <gasps> yeah. <sighs> Jesus. 
just thinking about what might have happened here. Doesn't... Doesn't this freak you out? You know, even a little bit? Yeah, of course it does. But I guess... Just a part of me was hoping that this place was different. Growing up, they always tell us that there's so much good that comes from believing. I still sort of believe that, you know? And I guess I just wanted to believe that somewhere there were people who were doing things right. I'm sure there are. Somewhere. Just... Just not here. Sorry, I skipped that. <laughs> well, maybe it's time to stop thinking about the past. Can't say that I like Adira, but at least... Well, at least in some way, they've all gotten better. Yeah, that's true. Oh, snap. Huh? Josh Mental looking nun. Severe looking nun. D did you see that? They saw us. The hell? I didn't hear them coming. Quick, let's go back. Coast is clear. You think they'll tell Adira? We'll worry about that later. Um, for now, well, we should get to cleaning. Don't want us to look suspicious. Oh, good idea. Let's go back to the entrance hall. Mind fetching some brooms? Sure thing. I'll meet you there. Let me just... <laughs> Oof, I keep on forgetting about this cut. Well, at least it's getting better. Should be fine as long as I don't strain it too much. Old and dusty. Just like everything else in this convent. Heaven on Earth. Well, so much for that fantasy. But some things just aren't adding up. Just what was it we saw the other night then? <gasps> yeah, she does look like, I I the, like, like the sister. Like the lady who's been with us all this time. The old lady. All of a sudden I forgot her name. Well, maybe that's it. She always seemed open to talking. Maybe she knows something. Hey there! Uh, hello there, sister. Y you... What have you... <laughs> what the... Oh. What's happening? There she is. Tell me, do you think your sins are going unnoticed, girl? How many times must we repeat ourselves? Uh, I can explain. I just left something inside, that's all. Did we give you permission to speak, girl? Oh. No. S sorry. <laughs> She's close. Too close. Such a mess. Who taught you how to dress, girl? And your hands. Do you even wash them? Oh, filthy hands for a filthy liar. Again and again we try to teach you. But if words aren't enough, then perhaps a different type of pill is needed. Please! She's just a child. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was just an accident. And it is children most of all who need our special care. Stop! <sighs> Dare you? Really? Cowering already? I think this one needs a bit more. Are they hitting her? Stupid girl! You come here with that wide-eyed smile on your face! You think you can just waltz in and be one of us? <laughs> Go back to that whore mother of yours in your dirty little whore house! <laughs> I spared the child the rod, but not you. Do you know why? 
<laughs> what is it? Now you're suddenly quiet. <sighs> it is because you should know better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, sister. <sighs> Such disrespect. You're all lucky the Mother Superior has softened over the years. And you? Are you just going to stand there with that empty look on your face? <laughs> here it comes, here it comes, here it comes! I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Just... Just let me go. I just wanna go. Please. Listen. What I just did to her... That was meant for you. I hope you know that. <sighs> now go. Before I start feeling generous. Y yes. S sorry. Just calm down. You're good at this. You're used to this. Of course you are. Shut up! I just need to distract myself. It's like what Gabby said. Think of something happy. Anything to just calm down. Okay, I guess mom is looking forward to hearing your adventures? No, stop. Think of something else. If only I had my book. I could just read and get lost in the pages and be in a better place. God damn it. What? what? Who did this? Oh? Hey, where'd you go? Gabby. Don't talk, don't talk about, don't talk about it, don't talk about it. That's how it works, right? Talking about it will just make it real. I'm okay. Everything's I'm fine. Just, I forgot something upstairs. Oh, okay. I'll be down in a bit. Just, just give me a second. <laughs> huh? It's another one of those letters. How did, it, how did it get here? I must have been so worried that... Was I just carrying it this whole time? When I stepped in this convent, I was a sinful, sinful girl, but the nuns, they were so understanding and so very, very kind. Words can't describe my experience here, but suffice to say, I feel absolutely saintly. I'm so happy to have such a loving family, a loving community, and a loving God watching over me. And most of all, I've never been more happy to be alive. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. That's what everyone just wants me to be. That's what I need to be. Smiling, happy holly. Dearest Heavenly Father, can you hear me? I'm still crying, trying so hard. So hard to find a reason to believe in you. Are you even there? Or here? You aren't, are you? Don't lie to me. If you were, you'd stop them. you stop all of them from hurting. You stop all of us from hurting, because this is all your fault. They're doing it all in your name, did you know that? There's nowhere, uh, nowhere else to go. There's no place that's safe. Here, home, everywhere I go, all the same. Liana, somewhere in this convent there's a girl. She's crying on top of her bed, kind of like all those princesses in those storybooks. And she wants to find a way out, so badly. Holly, you sleep? Yeah. Oh, come on. Stop kidding around. 
Wake up! All right. I'm awake. What do you want? Listen! Do you hear that? Oh, it's the car. Yeah, Mom was talking about some party that our parish was hosting, so... They'll probably be gone for a while. And you know what that means. Oh, time for us to bring out the secret box! <laughs> All right then, come on. All right, let me just... Our secret hiding place, a place where mom would never find. Underneath a roof tile just above our window. Took some work to shake it loose, but hey, proper mischief, mischief demands perfection. And this plan is foolproof. Okay, my turn. Give me a boost, sis. Oh no. Did she die as an accident, us doing this? All right. Just here. Place your feet on the windowsill. There you go. Uh-oh. Sure. Now I just need to climb up. Just be careful, okay? Uh, Alright! Got it! Nice! Now quick, come down. There you go. Now let me just... Woo! Mission accomplished! Oh, okay, okay. Got the goods. Also, nice job on the hiding place. It's been months and mom suspects nothing. See? Told you I've got my ways. Now, lay it down here. <laughs> Look at it! The ultimate treasure trove. And it's still growing. So, what do you want to do tonight? Okay. There's the spell keys. Oh, we could reenact Kylie's battle with the Bright Queen. We've done that already five times. Well, we can try out Caverns and Krakens. It gets a lot easier once you get the hang of it, I swear. Kind of not in the mood for that right now. Oh, there's also this romance novel I got about these two girls who are also witches. Mom would totally kill me if she found out about that one. Actually, let's continue what we were doing last time. Oh, really? You don't think it's, I don't know, cheesy or anything? Kinda is, but seriously, when has that ever stopped us? Fair point. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. I think we're out of paper. Well, guess we've gotta play Caverns and Krakens now. We're finishing it tonight and you can't squirm your way out of it. Hmm. I think we have paper downstairs. <gasps> if we're careful, we can even draw on Dad's desk. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'll race you. Hey, come back here. Liana? Let's go. You promised, remember? You promised that you wouldn't leave me behind. Right? Yeah, just wait for me, please. Don't go, don't go, don't, don't go. go. Don't go. You know, I'll always be waiting. Here we go again. Liana! There it is, again. Just like all the other nights. Again and again and again, just like... I, I can't just ignore it. I won't. Not again. Oh, I, I don't like either of these answers. Let's go, Liana. It'll be our own little adventure. That's right. A little adventure never hurt anybody. And so she jumped out of her bed and wandered dark hallways, careful not to make a sound. Ooh. Things do look different here at night, don't they? I've always hated this painting. Yeah, that looks horrible. Yes. I always did. I guess that's Mother Iledora. Watching over us at the dinner table while everyone was always fighting 
and shouting. And they all just sat there, still, doing absolutely nothing. You were supposed to help us. You're God, after all. Why didn't you do anything? <laughs> Would you look at that? Body and blood, body and blood. Body and blood, body and blood. Over there. Diana, wait for me. What's happening? Hello? Diana, are you here? Okay. Uh, wow. Perfect, just like in the stories, look, she's wearing her crown with pride. She was proud of it, wasn't she? Proud of all the pain. What's happening? Is she going, like... Is she having, like, a mental breakdown? My head. Everything feels so light. Almost like I'm walking through a dream. Liana, I know you're there. You have to be. You're calling me, right? That's what Adira said, right? Yeah, the red-haired girl has the same hairstyle as Adira. It's his sister Adira. I don't know if it's her daughter or what is she, but she has the same hairstyle, which is weird. Please. I just want to talk. Just like we used to. Why? Why won't you answer me? Do you hate me? Is that it? Just say something. Anything. Nothing. You... Oh, there, there now. There's no need to cry. They... They hurt you? Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Everything is fine. No. No, it's not! Things aren't fine! Shh. I know it can be tough sometimes, but... This is the only home I have. I want it to be your home as well. The holiest of places. The holiest of the holy. There is nothing to fear. Nothing to fear at all. <laughs> oh, they're praying again. Prayers for God. Prayers for the world. For the sinners. Night after night, but it's for, for a good cause. Just like the other night. Uh, yeah. Now. Now. I need to ask something of you. Something very important. I need you to go with them, okay? What? Go with who? Shh, shh, shh. It's fine. We all just want to help you. Oh, remember the stories? You're not making any sense. Why should I? St. Mary, St. Rosa, St. Berna, they heard the calling. It's just like that. Wait. What the hell do you mean? Remember what I told you? This place, there's a very special air to it. This is a holy place. Here, miracles happen. It's not too far off from magic now, is it? Just, just, just go with her and, and, and you'll be better. That's all, that's all we're trying to do here after all. Helping you to become a proper child of God. A child worthy of becoming a saint. Please, now, just do this for me, okay? Just trust us. Trust me. Over there. It's coming from over there. They're back. Don't be afraid, Holly. I'm not afraid. I'm afraid of a lot of things, but this, this is fine, right? It's okay. It's okay, Holly. Just keep walking. 
Stay calm, everything is fine, this is all fine. What's happening? This is going crazy, man. Who's there? Go away! Stay back! Holly? Just what is going on? They... They were here. They? You saw them? You've been blessed with another vision? No. It wasn't. And just as I was beginning to lose hope. What exactly did you see? Tell me everything. I need to know. She's too close. Wait, stop. I... Tell me everything. I need to know. This is... This book. How did you... Where did you get this? Y yeah, about that. I was looking around and... Look, that's not important right now! So... you stole this... from me? N no Please, listen! Something is very wrong here, I think... This convent is the holiest of places, blessed by our sainted sanctity, maintained by our order for generations. Everything is fine. The... The only problem I see is you prying through things I explicitly told you not to. I'm sorry about that, but just look at it. The thing about young girls is that they can create all sorts of fantasies during their free time, which, which is fine. It's a perfectly normal thing to do, but that's all they are. But, but there were letters as well from the other nuns. Are you now building a case against us? Do you fancy yourself a lawyer? Or perhaps some sort of spy? Everything here is perfectly fine. It isn't! You keep saying that, but it isn't! Just today, I saw the other nuns. They were hurting someone. One of the newer ones. Please. This isn't some holy vision or some sort of miracle. There is something very real and very wrong here. Holly, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm assuming that there's gonna be like a little twist where there aren't any other nuns. It's just us. And those were visions or stuff that we were seeing and that the... Red-haired nun is actually Sister Adina when she was young. You know who I'm talking about. Those three older ones. The ones who just keep poking their heads in and out of rooms. The last of my sisters... died... years ago. What? B but that can't be. It's only ever been me. See? No way. So you saw them? You saw my sisters? But... But why? Why did they show themselves to you? You come into my convent, break property, and, and accuse my order of such... such filthy lies. And despite all that, they show themselves to you? <laughs> Why not me? Why you? Holly, please tell me, is there something I'm missing? Some, some small little detail that I failed to grasp? Adira, stop! I've, I've done so much for them! Let go of me! No. This was hers. 
because she 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 gave she, no 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 I'm I'm sorry. This was this was this was this. I, I can help. I can help fix it. Don't you touch it? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't touch it. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't. No. That, that can't be right. We've, we've been alone this whole time. got her stories all wrong. <laughs> of course. Of course. She's not real. Why would she be? She was nice. Broken, it's broken. Shattering to so many pieces. Calm down, Adira. Deep breaths. Let's take this step by step, shall we? First, we assess the damage. A broken string, beads scattered around the floor. This is fine. This is fine. Just a matter of picking them up and putting everything back together. Second, picture how we used to look. You still remember, right? It did. Did the blue beads go beside the green, or, or did they go with the red? Oh, no. No, 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 no! Think, Adira. Remember. Or was it, did the purple the purple go with the red? I can... oh, no, 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 no. It's broken. Broken and wrong. It's never going to be the same. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, enough, Adira. There are more important matters. More? Important matters. So at this point, I think it's safe to say that we as the player are actually playing as whatever entity is here. That's that's the role we've been playing throughout the entire game. Like each time we need to choose an answer, I feel like it's been more or less that. Maybe not always, but most of the times. But but this is important. I... No. Composure. Composure and poise is the standard for a proper woman of God. For a woman of Mother Idolora. Third, we take a step back and reflect, Adira. She said she saw them. My sisters. I could see it in her eyes. She was certain there were more of us. And there are, because they never left, watching over us, watching over me. But why haven't I been able to see? Okay, this is interesting. It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. Luke, chapter 5, verse 32. 
I have not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. And right now, we have sinners under our roof. Yes. Yes, I see now. Step four. We turn our words into action. Yes, Mother Idolora. Colonist rituals and practices has been all so long since they've seen the light of day. And it is all up to me. I shall not fail. No, I cannot fail. Never again. I won't let it happen. Ever again. I'll come to them with a smile on my face and I will fix them. I will show them the divine light of your holy embrace, mother. Oh, dearest mother Idelora, worry not for tonight my hands will be anything but idle. Oh, what is she gonna do? Is she gonna try to kill us with a hammer? Chisel and hammer? <laughs> Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.